Stories come to life in Jan Brett's Norwell home studio. I walk into the night and I'll just go to bed tired and wake up and it's like elves were there. Like I did that last night. The author and illustrator takes young readers around the world through her books. India in the tale of the tiger slippers, Japan in the mermaid, Ukraine in the mitten. And she's off to Alaska with Cozy in Love, her second story featuring a friendly musk ox. My daughter moved to Alaska and she said, Mom, you have to see these creatures. And I just fell in love with them. Brett has written and illustrated more than 40 books over her decades-long literary career. Research has been an important part of her process since one of her earliest jobs, doing illustrations for Irish author Eve Bunting. Went to the library, it's all these books, and this green and little lambs, and I'm going, can't be like that, rainbows everywhere. I took my mom and my daughter, and it was just glorious. Initially, she was hesitant to write her own stories. I'm an artist, I'm an illustrator. Ever since I was a little kid, that's how I could express myself because I was shy and nothing ever came out right. But an editor encouraged her to give it a try. He said, you know, Jen, it's only like 10 stories. It's just how you tell them. There's like, you can never go home again. I'm funny looking, but then it turns out to be a good thing. Brett says the story comes first, then she works out a draft with full illustrations. That's really important because then I go over it with my art director and there'll be technical things like she'll say, well, you can't put a face in where the pages fold, you know, because it would be in the crease. This time I used a cross section of the mitten with all the animals inside. And she said, you know, do it from the outside. So in the actual book, you'll see the actual mitten and you'll see animals sticking out from the knitting. And if you know where to look, you might find some familiar faces in Brett's work. My husband Joe's in the Boston Symphony, so I did a story called Berlioz the Bear and he's playing the double bass like my husband does. So I made Joe into a bear. And when he gets puzzled, he like pulls his ear, so I've been pulling his ears. In 12 Days in Christmas, I'm a goose. You're so gentle. Good job. At the Lowell Humane Society, the personalities of all their animals shine through. Ozzy is a year and a half old golden doodle. He was brought to the shelter because his family had a little boy in the home who developed allergies. He is a ball of fun. He's super sweet. He's enormous. <laughs> and when it comes to finding a new home for Ozzy and other pets like him, shelter workers, including executive director Crystal Arnott, are looking to make the right match. We have everything from your tiniest creatures like mice and hamsters, all the way up through guinea pigs, rabbits, cats and dogs, and everything in between. Boston is a five-year-old domestic short hair, and she was brought to the shelter because the family felt like they couldn't provide really the quality of life that she needed anymore. Providing loving care to animals is the mission at the Lowell Humane Society, which celebrates its 150th anniversary in 2023. There was a meeting of citizens in Lowell who were concerned about the distressed horses on the street. The city ran on horses. It was the only transportation that people had. Grace Jeans has served on the Humane Society's board since 2004 and shared records from the organization's earliest days. In the early 1900s, the Humane Society also cared for neglected children in the city. It reads, the following is a picture of two little girls rescued from a drunken mother and placed in custody of the overseers of the poor of Lowell. By 1939, when the society moved into its current building, the group had turned its focus mostly to pets. Pets are our family, so anything we can do to help people to prevent surrendering their pet, we will do. That means offering a free pet food pantry and providing referrals for support with behavioral issues, but economic and housing challenges are taking a toll. Having a place bought out and the new landlord changing the rental policies. Arnott and Jeans agree Lowell Humane Society's longevity reflects the important role animals play in our lives. An animal just is innocent, an animal is just looking for your attention. They don't have anyone to speak for them, so we need to be their voice. And so I, I think we're going to be around for another 150 years, if not longer. Mm -hmm.
cute. And the Lowell Humane Society has a veterinary clinic right within their building, which is great because they can evaluate and treat pets as they come in and then make sure they're ready to go to a new home. All right, back to Jan Brett. Her current project is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, and you saw her working on some mm. of the sketches in that piece. And she offers this advice to kids, young artists in training, to take your time with your drawing and just let your mind wander. Mm. Good advice yes. from a great artist. Yeah. Still ahead, a family.